Hello everyone and in today's video we're going to be overviewing Mango Prime. Before I go ahead and begin the overview, just to let you guys know how to get to the screen, once you have the extension loaded on your browser, you can go ahead and hit the icon and it will take you to the page I was just at, as you guys can see. So for this overview, we're going to go ahead and begin at the settings. Before we do that, just to break down what you can see here, you can see the Mango Prime and logo there, as well as the logo at the bottom as well. You have the current version number, which is version 2.9.1, and then you have the four sections, which is task, profiles, delay, and settings. So so on the settings page you have the key information so if you hit this you can click to show and go ahead and show the key i can deactivate my key as well and then we have the discord webhook section so you can go ahead and put your webhook in here once you've gone ahead and put the webhook in here you can actually delete the webhook and test the webhook if you wish and then for bot settings you have add to cart mode you can change this between normal and fast and then for endpoint you have the desktop and mobile options and then below that you have different types of settings at the moment optimal settings is activated and when you click optimal settings it says optimal us optimal mobile us optimal eu optimal mobile eu optimal japan and restocks i'm going to go ahead and put optimal eu and as you guys can see a success box pops up it says settings have been updated so i'm going to hit okay i can go ahead and import settings if i hit this off fire directly it's going to go ahead and pop up alternatively i can go ahead and export these settings if i wish and then we have a few options here for auto checkout auto cart and retry on decline it is a tick based system so i can go ahead and tick a box and it will go and activate and then below that we have save log file clear cart gmail login if you hit this it will just go ahead and prompt you to log into your gmail and then you restore defaults and then we have the proxy settings so once you're in the proxy settings you can go ahead and configure your proxy you can go ahead and put a proxy in here you can put your capture proxy there you can also test your proxy set the proxy and clear the proxy so i'm going to go ahead and put a proxy in here i want to blur it out for this video but you guys can clearly tell that there is a proxy there then i can go ahead and hit the test proxy button so once i go ahead and hit the test proxy button it goes ahead and puts my current proxy to the proxy i put in there if I hit set proxy it also does the exact same thing I can go ahead and clear my proxy if I wish and then as you guys can see it says proxy cleaned your proxy has been cleared and then once I've gone ahead and done here I can hit the save button and it will go ahead and save my settings and as you guys can see it says successfully save settings and then you have remote access at the bottom so at the moment it's off if I want to turn it on I hit the toggle remote mode and it will go ahead and turn on once you go ahead and change any of these settings please make sure to go ahead and hit the save button and as you guys can see it says setting saved successfully saved Save settings you hit the ok button then all the settings that you have changed go ahead and stay saved and then you have the check for updates button so if you hit this it goes ahead and checks for updates there is an update available and a new version is available for download but i'm not going to go ahead and update it in this overview but that's just a general idea of how the settings page works then you have the delays page by default the retry delay is 300 and for any of these delays you can go ahead and highlight it and change it as you wish and then you have the atc delay which is at zero the checkout delay which is set to a thousand by default and as well as the minimum delay which is set to 3000 by default which you can go ahead and configure similarly to how i showed you for retry delay and then you have the advanced settings tab which goes ahead and pops up this so at the top you can go ahead and configure whether you want normal mobile stock or shop you can go ahead and change the decline rates over here and then you have simulation settings so how to enter inputs in checkout so you can go ahead and hit the button to use address cookies and then you have the key press delay mouse action delay scroll action delay and select action delay so this is really really breaking down the process when it goes ahead about selecting items within the supreme process so if you want to go ahead and configure that you can you have the scroll bars here which goes ahead and changes it and also for size selection you can choose simulated known on fill and then for your name apartment state email address free country telephone address zip code and city you have a bunch of options which is between non simulated on fill and by default everything is set to none once you're done there you can go and hit the x button and then once you're done with all your settings be sure to hit the save button and as you guys can see it says settings saved successfully saved settings now moving over to the profiles page this is where you can go and configure your profiles and it's separated into four sections you have your id for your profile your profile name the cards and the actions associated with the created profile and at the bottom you have the create button and delete all buttons i'm going to go ahead and create a profile here by hitting the create button and the profile creation tab pops up so we have our profile name which i'm going to go ahead and call video test for this overview and then we have name email address apartment number address free zip city 
country state telephone and then you can also jig your email jig your address jig your apartment and jig your phone and then you can go ahead and choose a payment method so you can do paypal or credit card so what i'm going to go ahead and do is fill out all this profile with some test information and then we're going to continue with the over and then for your country section when you're configuring this make sure to remember it is a scroll so you can go ahead and scroll through a bunch of options and i can also actually search in for some things i typed in never there that's why i went to netherlands however i'm going to go ahead and hit uk and once you've gone ahead and fill out this section and selected your payment method make sure to scroll down so you can go ahead and fill out your credit card details so your cc your cvv month year for your expiry and your type of card so now that i'm done with my profile i'm going to hit the create button as you guys can see the id is zero the profile name is video test and then my card shows the last four digits of the card and then for actions we have the edit button so we can go ahead and change anything here so if i were to change my profile name from video test to video test full stop and i hit the create button as you guys can see the profile name goes ahead and gets updated then we have the duplicate button and the delete button if we wish to go ahead and use those but i'm not going to use those for this overview then we're going to go ahead and move to the task section and this is where we create our tasks so the tasks are separated from type item size color profile status and actions and then we have the create task button start task button stop task button and clear task button at the bottom so let's go ahead and hit the create task button when you hit the create task button you greet with the create task box which asks for what type of task do you want to create restock keyword or install i'm going to go ahead and hit keyword and as you guys can see you can go ahead and create your task for supreme so ask for the keywords ask for the color the profile the size priority and category and then you can create and then you have a product list down here where you can go ahead and quickly add keywords so for the purpose of this overview i'm going to go ahead and use the nalgene bottle for example here. so if i hit this and hit black for example as you guys can see my keywords get filled out the color black goes there and then i can go ahead and configure the rest so for profile i'm going to hit video test for size i want to hit any because there's no size with the supreme nalgene bottle and if a priority it is accessories and if a priority i'm going to put accessories and if a category i'm also going to put accessories as well then i'm going to go ahead and hit the create button and as you guys can see my task has been created once you go ahead and create your task as you guys can see the status has stopped the profile is video test the color is black the size is any and the item is based off your keywords and the type is k then we have some actions here we have the start button the stop button the edit buttons we go ahead and change anything if we wish here and then we have the duplicate button as well as the delete button and then we also have the schedule button if you wish to do that so to start my task i have two options here i can hit the start task button the bottom i can also hit the start button on the actual task as well so for the purpose of this overview i'm going to hit the start button here and as you guys can see the status goes through it i can also stop my task as well at any point i wish so that concludes the overview of mango pre-mat cop supply